an analysis revealed that about 94% of accidents were caused by human error and the remaining by the environment and mechanical failures. So here, the technology comes into action. Advanced Driver Assistance System, commonly known as ADAS, is a technology designed to enhance vehicle safety and improve the driving experience. Let's break it down step by step. The foundation of ADAS lies in its sensor network. Multiple sensors are strategically placed around the vehicle, such as radar, lidar, ultrasonic sensors, and cameras. These sensors act as the eyes and ears of the system, constantly collecting data about the vehicle's surroundings. Radar sensors, it uses radio waves to detect objects and measure their distance and speed. They are excellent for detecting other vehicles and objects in the vehicle's path. LIDAR sensors, it emits laser beams that bounce off surrounding objects, creating a detailed 3D map of the environment. This allows for precise object detection and mapping. Ultrasonic sensors use sound waves to measure distances to objects in close proximity to the vehicle. They are often used for parking assist systems, alerting drivers to nearby obstacles. And of course, cameras capture visual information, providing valuable data about lane markings, traffic signs, pedestrians, and other vehicles. This system uses the control unit to process the data received from the sensors and compares it against pre-programmed rules and algorithms. This enables the system to identify potential risks, make predictions, and take appropriate actions. It is often categorized into different levels based on the extent of automation and the capabilities it offers. Level 0, no automation, at this level, the vehicle does not have any ADAS features. The driver has full control of the vehicle at all times, and there are no automated assistance systems in place. Level 1, driver assistance, at this level, features provide limited automation and assistance to the driver. These features typically focus on a specific aspect of driving and require the driver to remain fully engaged and responsible for the vehicle. Examples include Adaptive Cruise Control. This system uses radar sensors to maintain a set speed and automatically adjusts it to keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead. The control unit processes the sensor data and commands the actuators to control the vehicle's speed. Next Lane Departure Warning In this system, these cameras monitor the lane markings and the control unit analyzes the camera data to detect if the vehicle is drifting out of its lane. Lane Departure Warning alerts the driver to keep the vehicle centered within the lane. A next Parking Assist In this system, cameras and ultrasonic sensors provide a 360-degree view of the vehicle's surroundings while parking. The control unit analyzes the sensor data and provides visual or auditory guidance to assist the driver. In some cases, the control unit can take over the steering to park the vehicle automatically. Traffic Sign Recognition In this system, these cameras capture images of traffic signs and the control unit analyzes the images to identify and recognize various signs, such as speed limits or stop signs. The information is then displayed on the HMI display, keeping the driver informed about the current road rules. Level 2, Partial Automation, it represents a significant advancement in automation capabilities. It can simultaneously control multiple aspects of the driving task, but still requires the driver to be attentive and ready to take over when necessary. Level 2 features include, Lane Keeping Assist, it is similar to Lane Departure Warning. While Lane Keeping Assist provides continuous steering inputs to keep the vehicle centered within its lane automatically. Traffic Jam Assist It combines adaptive cruise control and Lane Keeping Assist technologies to control acceleration, braking, and steering in slow moving or stop and go traffic. Using sensors and cameras, it maintains a set distance from the vehicle ahead and keeps the vehicle centered within the lane. 
traffic jam assist aims to reduce driver fatigue and improve comfort in heavy traffic conditions, but drivers must remain attentive and ready to take control if necessary. Automated Emergency Braking This system automatically applies the vehicle's brakes to prevent or mitigate collisions. Using sensors and algorithms, it detects imminent collision risks and issues warnings to the driver. If the driver doesn't respond, the system engages the brakes autonomously to reduce the severity of the collision or avoid it altogether. It can detect various objects, including vehicles, pedestrians, and stationary obstacles. While this has proven effectiveness, it has limitations and may not prevent all collisions. Overall, it enhances safety by actively assisting drivers in critical situations. Level 3 – Conditional Automation – Where the vehicle can handle certain driving tasks under specific conditions. However, the driver must be prepared to take control when the system requests it. Level 3 features include Traffic Jam Pilot and Highway Pilot. It offers features that provide a higher level of autonomous driving compared to Level 1 and Level 2 systems. The vehicle can navigate itself through stop-and-go traffic without the need for constant driver intervention and also the system can autonomously control the vehicle's speed and direction. While navigating highways, the system can keep the vehicle centered within its lane and perform automated lane changes to overtake slower vehicles or adjust to traffic conditions. If the system encounters situations beyond its capabilities, or if the conditions change, it alerts the driver to take over. The driver must be prepared to regain control within a specific time frame. It also has geofencing, or high-definition maps to define the operational boundaries and ensure the vehicle operates only within pre-mapped well-known areas. Level 4 – High Automation It provides high automation, where the vehicle can perform most driving tasks under specific conditions without requiring driver intervention. Level 4 features include Urban Pilot and Self-Parking this enables the vehicle to autonomously navigate through urban environments, including intersections, traffic lights, and pedestrian zones. The vehicle can autonomously find a parking spot, maneuver into it, and park without driver input. Level 5 Full automation, it represents the highest level of automation, where the vehicle is fully autonomous and capable of performing all driving tasks under any condition. It can operate entirely autonomously without any human input or control. There is no need for a steering wheel, pedals, or other traditional driving controls. It covers all driving scenarios, including highways, urban areas, rural roads, and various weather conditions. The vehicle is capable of navigating complex traffic situations and handling unexpected challenges. The vehicle's onboard AI and computing systems have complete control over all driving decisions, route planning, and maneuver execution. Passengers are simply transported from point A to point B without the need for human intervention. It's important to note that, while advancements in technology are pushing us closer to higher levels of automation, Level 5 full autonomy is still a goal for the future, and widespread implementation may take time. Understanding the levels of ADAS helps us gauge the capabilities and limitations of different vehicles and technologies on the market. It's essential for drivers to be aware of the level of automation in their vehicles and always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and recommendations for safe operation. It's important to note that ADAS is designed to assist drivers and not replace them. Drivers must remain attentive and engaged while using ADAS features as they still bear the ultimate responsibility for safe and responsible driving. I hope you found this video helpful. A big thank you for being a part of this video.